Now we want to join a network game hosted on the LAN. Let's take another look at the network setup GUI. Now I'm going to start the game on a second machine, and this time instead of choosing the internet option, I'm going to use the LAN option. Okay, I've started the game, now we're waiting for the auto refresh. Let's just jump ahead. And as you can see, it's found the LAN based game. Now I can select this game. And once again, in the same way as I was able to join a master server hosted game on the internet, I can join a LAN hosted game that uses the BTS UDP server. So let's look at the GUI behavior and see how this is done. We'll need to scroll up here to find the first instance of BTS UDP in the code. When I'm waiting to join a game, I need to register for events from the BTS UDP server. That's the one difference between the master server and the UDP server. Next, just like the master server, I need to clear the host list. And again, just like the master server, I need to request the host list. Similar to the master server, I need to get the data from the UDP server. So in this case, I'm getting the data from both the master server and the UDP server. Then I concatenate that data together and come up with one list of hosts that contains the information from both the master server and the UDP server. Once we have that concatenated list, we treat it just as if the information came from one network out there and whichever button the user presses, we're gonna to connect to that element. Notice we're connecting to the element. The BTS UDP server is returning a host data element in the exact same way as the master server would. So there's no need to distinguish between the two. And when we wanna list the available hosts, we request the host list in an identical manner. Instead of requesting the host list from the master server, we request the host list from the UDP server. Finally, we need to look at the events. Just as with the master server, we have to handle the events for the UDP server. The only event that's really of interest from the UDP server when we're trying to connect to a game is the received host list event, and that's it. As you can see, once again, by implementing the UDP server that uses the same semantics as the master server, we're sharing the majority of the code. Joining a game, whether it's on the LAN or the master server, is almost identical.